So you mentioned that Egypt is one of your biggest markets, or you're very popular in Egypt. Um, Ahmed, can you speak to that? Which, where are your biggest markets? Or actually, Ronaldo, can you confirm that? Is Egypt actually your biggest market in the region by, when no. it comes to breaking I mean, it down? Really no, the, in terms of sales, uh, the Gulf is much bigger, so Saudi would be in Dubai and the UAE sites are probably bigger than Egypt, but Egypt has been growing really fast for us. We have a very big local presence there, and uh, so, but we're seeing good uptake. I mean, there's a lot of... Uh, interest in e-commerce. I think distribution in Egypt is different, dynamics of it, real estate is complex, uh, trying to, ha there isn't that mall uh, real estate that is available for example in the DC. but also you have challenges in terms of uh, adaptation uh, of e-commerce, the percentage of users who buy online in Egypt for example would be lower than uh, markets such as Saudi or the UAE. Um, again, we're a distribution platform, a lot of brands use us and we're able to reach people in Cairo, in the greater Cairo as well as tier 2 cities in, in Egypt, so it's a, a great market and has great potential, but clearly in sales today it's not as uh, uh, the, the sales in terms of volumes. Uh, I mean the quantities are very decent, but not like the, the Gulf, the Gulf is still I think launch ahead due to income, due to penetration rates of internet, more time spent maybe on internet, Egypt is a lot more mobile, so a lot more people use the internet through the mobile e-commerce to mobile, I think lags one behind e-commerce through desktops, that is changing very fast with tablets and and things are, I mean it's a bright uh, market but it's, it's an upcoming market, it's still in development and we focus on it. We've been focused on it since 2010, actually. Yeah. So, with regards to Egypt, uh, it's definitely a huge market, but uh, we're not really interested in, a, in a, a, a completely focusing on Egypt right now because it's a market that's always going to be there. Uh, traffic acquisition is extremely cheap in Egypt, so you can definitely uh, acquire a ton of traffic rather quickly and, uh, and uh, easily and cheaply. But Egypt is, uh, is definitely something that we're thinking about, but we're not actively uh, trying to enter into this market right now because of the political uh, situation, because of the very difficult uh, custom situation, uh, the supply chain distribution situation. Uh, in terms of our largest market, our largest market is Saudi Arabia by far, which is the same for soup. Uh, our second largest market is, uh, is, uh, is Jordan. And we are local in both of these countries as well. Uh, our average basket size, uh, interestingly enough, is uh, 1.8. Uh, which, uh, uh, which you know, also is is, uh, is 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 a very exciting metric. It's above that what what you would see in the industry standards, uh, let's say in Europe uh, and and in the United States. Um, uh, and so uh, we're still trying to grow very much in the existing markets that we're in. We're in eight countries, all of the GCC in Jordan and Lebanon. The reason why I mentioned Jordan and Lebanon as being exciting is because we're effectively the only player there and we are the largest player there uh, uh, and, and uh, uh, that's a kind of testimony to, to, to the fact that we, we focused on execution uh, in these countries and we delivered uh, 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 in, these, in these two countries and also our ability to tap into new markets where e-commerce was never proven uh, so we, we are considering going into uh, new markets in, in North, North Africa as I mentioned to you uh, maybe you know northern Iraq. I, I don't know. I mean, all these things are on the drawing, the drawing board for us. But um, the sheer uh, amount of, of appetite and demand that we have right now on the platform in existing markets that, that we're in uh, is keeping us focused on on making sure that uh, that uh, we we uh, service the customer, making sure that our customers get a a, a quick resolution to their problems, uh, quick resolution to their returns uh, if, if they have returns. Uh, and uh, that we are immediately accessible if, uh, uh, should any problems uh, arise. So we're really focused on the customer care segment and, and mastering and, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, again, focusing on the customers in the markets where we are, mastering that before we move into uh, any new markets because it's still uh, a greenfield. Yeah. Um